a little coffee. Okay, let's get started. Welcome everyone to this beautiful wintry day in my neck of the woods. It is mid-December 2020 and Verpal has just released video on their new CM3 throttle. So full disclosure, Verpal sent this over to me free. This is not a review. This will be just a look at this throttle. This new Mongoose, TC, Mongoose T50 CM3 throttle. They sent it over a few months back and as well to a few other folks. I, I honestly couldn't tell you how many people they sent it to, to get our feedback. They wanted us to try it out and let them know of any issues we saw or any modifications or anything of that sort that we would like to see changed. So they not only came up with a great and brilliant idea, a brilliant system, they cared about if it worked properly and what the community, uh, myself, as well as you guys felt about it. So here it is, uh, once again, not a review. This is just purely a first look. Yours will differ, this is a prototype. Um, there will, for the most part, it should be the same, but it will have a few differences. So you can see the CM3 is pretty much the same base as the CM2. It shares the same size, same footprint, same switches, um, all high quality switches. If you guys would like, I will link in the description below, ugh, can't talk this morning, uh, a link to the video on that review of the CM2. The differences are, on the CM3 are obviously the addition of detents and the actual throw is a little bit longer. So the arms are a little taller. I've had a lot of people I've seen on the comments on Verpal's video ask if this will be an add-on to the CM2. I cannot speak um, for them. I can say that with the addition of them, they would most likely have to change your throttle arms and everything out. So it's not as simple as just bolting it on. These arms are actually part of the throttle arm. So it's not as simple as just bolting it on. They may come up, come out with something, I don't know. So it shares all the same functionality and buttons, like I said, as a CM2. Um, difference being you have our detents. So let's get in a little closer and take a look at some of this. All right, so I need to Focus, man, focus. There we go. Here it is, the brand new CM3 by Verpal. So we can see here, shares all the same buttons, all still the same quality as the CM2. We just have the addition of detents. So right now I have the classic detents in, in the back with the uh, the one in the front is the, ac the acrobatic detent. So it comes with five different detents, five different options for your detents, and you can mix and match most of those. Uh, you can also slide your detents backward. This one here is loose. Um, you would have it snugged up a little more so it's not loose. But you can see here you can slide them forward and backward to adjust where you would like them. So you can also adjust the throw on the detents forward in the front and back. This one here, same thing, I don't have them very tight. So you can adjust it. And now if you're playing flight simulator, you can have yourself like a reverse thrust. So something else to notice, I'm gonna pull this back here and adjust my focus. Now you guys can see a noticeable height difference. The CM3 is taller. Um, once again, that's to help accommodate your um, thumb pad, your actual mechanism for your detents. And it also helps improve your um, accuracy on your throw. Um, a lot of people, I, me included, I, I really enjoy having the longer throw. Uh, I've had a lot of time with this. I've had, once again, two months with this, with this uh, 
throttle, their current Mongoose T50 CM3. Mouthful, mouthful. As far as setting it up, you set it up in the software just like you do the CM2, there's no differences. Um, this is once again, not a review on this. I just wanna show you guys kind of what you get. Here is a handful of detents that you get, which are showed in their video. I will link in the description. Make sure you check out their video as well. Um, I'm not gonna go into setting them all up and showing you the different different styles and different modes, just because there's a lot. There's a lot of choices here. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this useful and maybe help you guys decide on if you want to buy now or wait. And I will catch you on the next one.